I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> but also, I am so flipping nervous. <laughs> drove me to class this morning because she didn't have her 8 a.m. and she was coming down here so it's a good day hello friends also it's cloudy which is good yes it's when you know it's gonna be a good day hey guys so I don't even know if I officially started this vlog I don't think I did but hey everyone it's May welcome to another CSULV week in my life Ooh, can I cut through this way? I don't even know what I'm doing. So we have sub and dance. We got out early and I took someone's shift because she was sick. So I have to go to work at 11. But since we got out early, I got the idea to go get my ticket for that performance that we have to see. I went to a lecture last Friday. They gave you vouchers for free tickets. So I just wanted to get it out of the way now because I know on Wednesday it's going to be a huge rush of like every single student in all the modern dance classes, which is a lot. Um, who are all trying to go get the discount tickets because Wednesday's discount day. And I thought I wouldn't have time to do it today and beat the rush and I knew I wouldn't have any time tomorrow, but I did. So, yeah, I'm pretty hyped about it. And now I'm going to hurry to work. <laughs> now I just finished filming my life update video which should have gone up before this one should have gone up last Thursday so you guys are all caught up in my on my life if you haven't watched that video go watch it because I'm not gonna talk as much in this vlog it's all there instead that was the, the goal of that so yeah I am going to like do some homework and stuff and then I'm gonna go to Zumba. I have not been to Zumba in a hot minute because I went week one, then week two is Labor Day, then week three I went to the dance workshop, week four I was sick, now it's week five. Like it has been a month, like that's so sad. Um, I think I might try to stand in the front row because I know I said I was going to, like maybe, but like we might wait till next week, I don't know, because like now it's been a month. <laughs> so I've like lost everything that I learned again. Um, but yeah, super excited. <laughs> Just gonna try to do like a tiny bit of homework potentially as I finish my tea and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm so tired. Zumba was fun. TBH before Zumba, I was literally just like in bed watching TV because my stomach hurt so bad. But then luckily I was okay and was able to go to Zumba and now it hurts again. So it's just great. I honestly think it's still like, it's probably like a combination of stress and also my antibiotics. I got put on antibiotics for my cold and it's just like this whole heap of crap. Like it makes me feel nauseous. So I'm taking probiotics as well. It doesn't counteract the antibiotics or anything. Like the antibiotics take out all the bacteria and the probiotics just put back in the good. So the bad's still being taken out. Cause I read that that's supposed to like help the stomach pain aspect. Um, but yeah, I'm only on antibiotics for two more days have to get through two more days of this and hopefully I'll feel better after that. I'm having some ginger tea. Hopefully help. I might put a heating pad on my stomach too. Yeah, Zoom was really fun. It's a good time. I barely got in. I got there at like 717. I got the second to last number. Like I am I've never seen this. Like I just think it's weird that it's still like filling up in week five. Usually it's like cleared out by then. I don't know. I have to get there early next time. That would have been really sad if I couldn't go. They had to turn a bunch of people away. It was like, wow. But yeah, that's all for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. 
Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I'm dressed a little bit more formal than I normally would be. I'll just show you guys in the mirror. Um, I actually like did my makeup and hair and stuff. I'm gonna put lipstick on, I haven't put it on yet. And I'm wearing this black shirt and these pants and I'm gonna put on uh, Air Force Ones and I have a jean jacket because I made the mistake of not bringing a jacket yesterday and the office is like really over air conditioned so that's not good. What's it called? I have a meeting with um, the professor that I'm potentially doing directed studies with next semester. So we were gonna meet last week, but he ended up having like family emergency and couldn't do it, which is honestly a worked out because I was like still really sick and it like probably wouldn't have been that productive of a meeting. So since I feel better now, I just thought that I would like dress up a little bit to like make a good impression. I don't know. Um, we're just gonna be like talking about my writing and stuff. So I'm a little bit nervous, but he seems really nice over email. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go, it's fine. I have class and then work and then that and then a little bit of a gap and then my evening class. Then I'll be back here. Um, Grace has something else going on tonight, so I'm not going to dinner at the dorms. I'll just be back here. And yeah, that's the plan for the day. I'm not in the best mood right now, but we're hoping it gets better as the day goes on. <laughs> From class now I actually ended up having a really good day my day like completely turned around I was like in a really bad mood this morning and yeah I had class and then I went to Starbucks and I ordered a grande green tea la green tea latte and I'm pretty sure I paid for a grande because it was only $4.95 and they gave me a venti so I was like really psyched about that um, and then I had work and I had a, another really good session today I had one really good one yesterday and another really good one today And like I just feel like we like worked really well together and she like asked for my hours because she might want to like come see me again And I was like totally love to work with you again, too. It was just like great experience. Um, and then I had my meeting with the professor that I'm trying to do directed studies with and it is officially happening guys I am so happy like I was just in the best mood after that so Basically, if you don't know, directed studies is like most majors have it where like you can just like work with a professor one on one on a project relating to your major. And so I had like kind of planned on doing this since freshman year, not really, probably more like sophomore year. Like when I heard about it, I was like, ooh, like I would love to just like work on my novels with a professor, like that would be ideal. But I didn't really. I didn't dislike any of my creating writing, creative writing professors, but I never really had one that I really felt like I clicked with um, and that I like really liked enough to want to do directed studies, but I just heard a lot about this professor. Like Jillian had him and really, really liked him. Other people from my classes just said he was like amazing, so um, I was like, I'm gonna reach out to him and see like if this is a possibility. So I made sure to do it early because I knew that if he was this popular, like he would probably get like booked up and he responded and it was like just send me some samples and so I was like okay um and like he responded really positively and like we set up a meeting and yeah like I just it was just so good like he said that he was impressed with my writing and like the way I presented myself on the emails and I was just like okay okay like <laughs> it was just like such a good time and like I he is actually like willing to read them this semester I was like whoa like i <laughs> I thought we weren't starting this yet and like you could tell I was getting a little overwhelmed he was like if you don't want to that's fine but I was like no like if you are like willing to read this this semester even though this isn't starting until next semester and willing to add reading two novels to your already busy schedule like I'm gonna take the opportunity it's just like if you guys watch my book writing videos I have first book and spring break book are the ones that I want to work on in directed studies because first book I have a basically a complete draft of that I'm like in the process of revising and then spring break book is going to end up being a lot longer than first book but um it's it's a little bit shorter I was giving him word counts today um first book's at 83 and spring break book is at 70 but I have a feeling it's going to end up being like 90 plus so yeah I just like want to get that one 
to a complete draft as well as getting feedback on what I have. And I told him, like, I was completely honest, it's like, I have not worked on this in, like, months. I'm stuck. I, like, write sen little sentences at a time. I know generally what scenes are supposed to go where, but, like, I am just, like, I, I'm stuck. And he recommended that I send him Spring Break Book first, and that way he can give me feedback um, that will hopefully inspire me and motivate me to continue writing it so that um, I can already be working on it during winter break. And then I'll send him first book. I keep almost using the titles because I was talking to him in terms of the real titles today, obviously. And <laughs> guys, this is hilarious. I like told him, I was like, yeah, like my title's literally like a Taylor Swift song lyric and like all my chapter titles are song lyrics. I know it's really dumb. And he's like, hey, like my best selling book, the <laughs> title is a song lyric and all the chapters are song lyrics. And I was like, we are meant to work together. Like, this is gonna work. <laughs> it was a great moment. Um, I haven't, see, I was gonna read one of his books before we actually started the, the directed studies, but now I feel like I should have like come to this meeting today having read it because I felt bad. Um, so I will try to do that over winter break. He writes like crime fiction, which isn't really like my thing, but like, I just want to get a sense of his style and like the way he writes, because I'm just like curious. But anyway, <sighs> I'm going off on a tangent. Basically, he just, he seems so enthusiastic about it, which was just so cool. He's like, usually, like, students in directed studies, like, come in with a few chapters and we're, like, writing the manuscript, like, as the semester goes. Like, I, he said that it was, like, really good that I had one that was, like, already a draft so that we could, like, move forward with it, like, move forward more than, like, he usually is able to as students. Because, like, I talked, I told him, like, I don't know, like, the first thing about publication. So, like, I'd really like to, like, learn about that and see if we could possibly, like, move toward that. And he was like, absolutely, like, we can work on that. And I was like, yes. So I just, oh, I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> but also, I am so flipping nervous. Like, this is going to be, like, hands down, like, the scariest thing I've ever done. We talked about, like, my concerns and questions, and he kept asking if I had any more, and I was like, no, I don't think so, but now they're all coming to me, because basically, I don't know, huh, I do know why, <laughs> sort of. I'm just, like, so nervous to send him Spring Break Book. One, because it's disjointed. And I told him it's disjointed. It's not a complete draft and I don't write from beginning to end. So there's scenes everywhere and it, I, like a lot of the subplots plots aren't woven in. So there are random things that are brought up where it's like, where the heck did this come from? Because it hasn't been introduced. It's like, I write something assuming that it has been introduced earlier, but it hasn't. So before I send it to him, I need to fix a couple things that aren't gonna make sense and like put brackets of like this scene goes here for the parts that I haven't written or at least try to. Yeah, but like he knows that it's not anywhere near being done. So like we've established that, but I'm just like, and I told him this too, I feel like there are parts of it that are just very cringy and cheesy and over dramatic. And he's like, okay, don't mark those parts. I'm gonna see if I find these parts, like the same parts you do, if I find, um, if I like read them the same way. And I was like, okay. But it's just like, there are parts where I'm, <laughs> I, I was reading through it after a meeting and I was like, I, someone's gonna read this. Like another person is literally gonna read this. Like I'm not ready for this. Like it's, and I don't know why, like it's this book Maybe it's because it's my favorite book I've ever written and I feel so attached to it, but it's not like it's personal. Like this is literally like the least personal book I've ever written. It is the least related to my life. Like it's not like, I, I don't know. It's just, I'm like rambling, but I just have a lot of feelings about this, okay? And then I'm also like, okay, I totally agree with his reasoning for me sending him this one first, but I also feel like over dramatic and cheesy parts aside, this is a better written book than first book. Because first book, as we talked about today, <laughs> has these like awful like stylistic differences because I wrote a lot of it when I was way younger and I've gone back and revised it, but it's still like a mess. And I just feel like overall Spring Break book is like a much better book, personally. So it's like, I don't want him to read this first <laughs> and then read the other one, you know? <laughs> But anyway, we're just gonna go with it. I'm very grateful for this opportunity, like beyond grateful. Like I am just like over the moon psyched about this. So it's gonna take a lot of work on my part. It's gonna be very hard. Cause like, 
it's one thing to just like oh like have fun writing and making playlists to go with my books like this is the real deal now I'm gonna be getting hard criticism about it and having to change stuff and fix stuff and ask hard questions and it's, it's gonna be hard but I'm gonna do it because I'm I'm dedicated and you guys will get to see this whole journey but I'm just like <sighs> like kind of just like shocked and happy that he wants to start now like let's let's do it so I'm gonna try to work on that in the next two weeks and uh get ready <laughs> let's let the cringing begin am I right so yeah I have a little bit of homework to do and I need to finish watching Unbelievable because Emily's Netflix subscription ends on Thursday and I'm gonna start working on this now hopefully having someone who's gonna hold me accountable for getting this done will help me actually do it and like give me the kick in the butt that I need to like actually get this done instead of staring at the page and wishing it would write itself so I've already like been going through my book. I'm on page, which page are we on? 34 out of 148, so like not very far, but you know, <laughs> I just started in the last hour and I'm putting the things that need to be, uh, what's it called, included, like scenes that I haven't written yet in brackets. I'm like putting little explanations, like this is what's gonna happen here, this is what day it is. I'm like using my little schedule that I wrote out. And so this is good. This really has motivated me. I'm like sectioning off some chapters. This is so good. I'm just like listening to the soundtrack that goes with it. I'm vibing. I need to do my homework too, but like I really love that I'm like actually motivated to like do something with this freaking document. Okay guys, I think I've got it. I think I realized why I'm so nervous to send him this book. It's because writing this book, besides now of course, when I have writer's block, over the past like year and a half has been like my happy place. Like I have enjoyed writing it so much. I love writing these characters. I love like thinking about this book. I love listening to songs and like thinking about how they connect to it, like all this stuff. I love this world that I've created so much that I, I am scared of having it criticized. I think that's what it is. Like, I have to shift this from this is something fun to do to like, let's actually work on this now. And that's really hard for me to do. But I think if this writer's block means anything, that's what it means. Like this, we're done with this phase of the book when it's just the fun and games phase, you know? But it, it's a little hard for me to let that go. I think that's, that's what it is. So just thought I'd share. Happy Wednesday. I came like this close to skipping class this morning. I feel like I usually don't mention like my period on my channel, but I'm just gonna say it. I have cramps like really, really bad. And I like was not feeling it. And I was like, I'm taking this class credit, no credit. I could just stay here and like watch Gilmore Girls. But I was like, I will have that day later this semester. I will, but today I'm gonna go. Just gonna do it. Hey guys, so it has been quite a while since I talked to you. I have just been having myself a night. So after I got back from class, I just like napped and stuff because I was just, I just felt awful and kind of wished that I had skipped class, just that like had cramps, was tired, just felt like overall like ugh. So yeah, I came home, watched some Gilmore Girls, ate popcorn, took a nap, and then I finally forced myself to get up and like kind of get my life together. Oh, uh, while I'm working on my, my writing a little bit, um, I was gonna talk about that. I have actually found that since there is someone who's gonna read my book, I have motivation to like kind of go back through and fix stuff and I'm like putting scenes that still have to be included in brackets and like highlighting them and like leaving him little notes like this is what's gonna go here. I still have to work this in somehow. And it's just like really satisfying to like see it all come together. So 
Woo, we're working on that. I'm not sure, like, it'll probably take me like two weeks is my guess because like, and I know I said that I was watching TV today, but like Emily's Netflix subscription expires like tomorrow. Okay, so th that part's gonna end um, and I didn't feel well, so <laughs> I have an excuse. But like seriously, like I, my classes are like ramping up. I have like so much homework this weekend and I have like papers and stuff and it's like, ugh. but I definitely have like motivation to work on this now, so that's good. Um, I went for a walk, which was really, really nice. I ate dinner and I swear there was something else that I did that I can't remember, but I don't know. It wasn't anything super exciting. I just uh, showered um, so that I would just be like all clean and yeah, and now I'm gonna make some pumpkin cookies. So I'm just like really excited. I was working on my assignments due Friday a little bit and I might work on it some more and like work on my book a little bit more and then go to bed, get some sleep. Also, I meant to tell you guys, I finished Unbelievable this morning. Um, on Netflix. It's like a mini series. It was so good. So if you have Netflix, you should really watch it. like and I have another batch in the oven and then I also made this like pumpkin spice cream cheese glaze so I'm gonna put it on tomorrow once they've like cooled. I realized that I kind of messed up like I didn't mix the sugar and butter I did like all the dry ingredients and all the wet ingredients so I don't think it got mixed properly but I know for next I'm sorry <laughs> I know for next time and like they don't taste bad or anything I just think that I need to like do that and like my mom told me like for the glaze I should have mixed should have softened the cream cheese and mixed it with sugar and like same thing with the butter. So, no for next time. Yeah, they're really good. I ate like way too much dough <laughs> as usual. But that is the fun of baking, my friends. Um, it's about 10 o'clock. I'm still home alone, which is what we like. I just had like such a relaxing evening. It was like, it was just, it was amazing. Much needed self-care day. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna clean up, make my lunch, make some tea, do a little more computer stuff and go to bed. Hey guys, so I might end up being a little bit late for class this morning. I really didn't want to get out of bed and I uh, haven't even like made my breakfast. <laughs> but it's okay. It happens, you know. I just thought I'd talk to you guys as I'm frantically trying to clean everything up. Um, yeah, today is class work and yoga later and I think Jillian and I might try to FaceTime, so. Should be a good time. I pretty happy with my outfit this morning. So hence why I'm late, it's because I actually tried. Here, I'll show you my makeup in the bathroom. Better lighting, I actually did my makeup and hair, and then I'm wearing this. All of your over this dress, I'm gonna wear my high heel booties, so yeah, I'm excited. <laughs>
before I launch into my complaining that I'm gonna do, I do wanna say that I honestly did have like such a good week this week. Like I was in a genuinely good mood. It was like cloudy outside. I wasn't sick anymore. Like good things happened. Like the whole like directed studies thing. Like it was like a very, very good week. But now it's the weekend and I have like literally so much freaking homework to do. Like I was talking about in my life update how like the shift hadn't happened of like going from, oh, this is manageable to, oh my God, I'm so stressed out, I can't take it. And that's happening right now. And for the rest of the semester, it's just like so much stuff. Like I only have homework in three out of my five classes this weekend, but I have like way more homework than I have been having for those classes. So it's just like crazy. Like I have like so many things to do for each class. Um, and yeah, on top of that, my stomach is super upset. I don't know if it's, I swear it's like my stomach and not cramps. And my eye has been twitching since last Saturday and now it's like alternating back and forth between them and it just sucks because it's like I know that my stomach aches and my headaches and my brain fog and my eye twitching, which I also have had like a headache today. I literally woke up with a headache and like took Excedrin right away and stuff, but like it still doesn't feel the best. It's like I know it's because of stress. There's no point in going to the doctor. I've looked it up online. It's because of stress. Great. So I took a night to myself this week. I tried to take it easy. I went to yoga yesterday, like to try to like, you know, be mindful, be present and like center myself. It's not going away. I have homework to do. And right now I'm about to take an hour where I just listen to my audiobook and have a heating pad on my eyes. But it's like the fact that I can't focus on my work or get my work done then makes me more stressed, which makes it worse. So it's just, I, this was like me all last fall and <laughs> Like, I was really hoping it wouldn't happen again, but it, it's happening, and it's just... Where would I be without Excedrin, honestly? <laughs> hey guys, hopefully you can see me somewhat. Um, update, my eye is still twitching. We love that. I am just sipping some tea, and I'm gonna watch, like, the first 10-ish minutes of Hearts Beat Loud, because I really wanted to watch that this weekend, but I'm, like, tired, so I'm not sure how much of it I'm really gonna get through. It's, like, already 11 o'clock. Um, so I should go to bed soon and I went to the gym as you saw it was like a really pathetic workout I hadn't been to the gym in forever because I was like sick and stuff so like I just like was not motivated and it's literally felt like someone's been drilling into my forehead all day and like my headache got worse as soon as I started working out and I was like this is great um so yeah just a little rough but I did do so much on on my uh, book today, I like bracketed so many scenes and like fixed stuff and it felt so good to get that done. Um, and then I worked a little bit on my other homework. So I don't think I'm vlogging this weekend and I'm not sure if I'm vlogging next week or not. Updates to come. But yeah, this is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe. I make videos every Monday. Bye.